Good evening and welcome to Ville News. I'm Nicole Dalton alongside Paige Davis, here to give you the latest local, state, and national headlines. Coming up, we have updates on Kansas City murder charges and Houthi anti-ship cruise missiles. Stay tuned because Ville News starts now. The United States has recently conducted five strikes on Houthi anti-ship cruise missiles and vessels. In total, this was three anti-ship cruise missiles, one unmanned underwater vessel, and one unmanned surface vessel. The previously mentioned unmanned underwater vessel is one of the first being used by the Iranian-backed rebel group since the beginning of their Red Sea attacks. Central Command saw these vessels and missiles in Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen and believed they, quote, presented an imminent threat to U.S. Navy ships and merchant vessels in the region, end quote. The United States and the United Kingdom have been trying to restore stability in the Red Sea since the Houthis' first attack in November. These ongoing attacks currently pose a threat to the global economy as they make shipping and oil companies suspend transit through the trade route in the Red Sea. Two adults have been charged with a felony murder at the Kansas City Super Bowl rally on Tuesday, February 21st. Jackson County Prosecutor Gene Peters Baker announced that 23-year-old Lyndall Mays and 18-year-old Dominic Miller were found, to be have, were found to have been connected to the mass shooting that occurred during the celebration for the Super Bowl championships. Mays and Miller are the fourth and fifth in number of people charged in the shooting, including two teenagers and a man from Wichita. One was killed while at least 39 others were injured in the shooting. The deceased has been identified as mother and DJ Lisa Lopez Galvin, who has been found to be killed by Miller's weapon. Both Mays and Miller's have been charged with a count of second degree felony murder, alongside two counts of armed criminal action and unlawful use of a weapon, and are being held on $1 million bond. When we get back, updates on Penn State, Thon, and medications delivered by drones. Ville News will be right back. What does MUTV mean to you? MUTV is such a welcoming and fun organization. It means getting to know a lot of people. MUTV is a place where I can network. MUTV means opportunity. MUTV is something very special to me. Penn State's THON event occurred from the evening of Friday, February 16th into the early morning of Sunday, February 18th. The 2024 grand total was an all-time high of 16,955,683.63. This year now stands as the most amount of money ever raised for the event. All of the proceeds from THON go to the Four Diamonds Fund, who has been the sole beneficiary of the event since 1977. Following Thon's establishment in 1973, it has raised over $219 million to ensure that over 4,800 families never have to see a check while their child is battling cancer. All the remaining proceeds go towards research to someday find a cure for the disease. In addition, Thon is also the largest student-run philanthropy event in the entire world, with thousands of volunteers every single year. Wellspan Health and the largest automatic drone company, Zipline, will be providing Pennsylvanians their medications delivered by drone. Besides medication, it will be able to send urgent and non-urgent medical supplies and lab samples to over 200 Wellspan locations, eight hospitals, and over 2,500 physician locations across the state. Their goal is to, quote, reimagine what healthcare can look like for our patients with Zipline. We are creating a future for our patients where getting a prescription filled is as simple as pressing a button, end quote. Patients will be able to track their delivery and even get the package in almost any weather conditions. The drone company Zipline has been used in other states like Ohio and Michigan in using the same practice with their goal to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions under the Wellspan Green Initiative. Once this system becomes available to the public, patients who use Wellspan facilities will be able to begin using the system in the upcoming years. When we get back, we'll have updates on the Rock Lidditz Conference and Lancaster County funding approvals. Ville News will be right back. 
Tune in each week to hear the latest headlines on Ville News. This news program covers top stories from around the country and is always looking for people to work both in front of and behind the camera. The show is recorded in Studio One in Bassler Hall on Wednesdays from 6 to 7. Tune in to Ville News to hear the latest local, state, and national headlines airing every Monday on MUTV. On April 25th, Rock Lidditz, the production complex in Lancaster City, will be holding its Experience Live Career Exploration Conference for high school students. Applications for the conference are being accepted through March 8th for high school juniors and seniors. Andrea Shirk, president and CEO of Rock Lidditz, said, quote, Experience Live is designed to help open doors for all types of students to find a career for their passion, learning from diverse voices and hands-on opportunities from the professionals who do it every day, end quote. This event was launched in 2018 and has hosted more than 3,000 college students, high school students, and young professionals. Attendance for the conference is limited to 300 students. The conference is used to offer insight on building a career in live events. Lancaster County commissioners are poisoned to approve millions of dollars in funding for countywide initiatives, including a homelessness service hub in the city of Lancaster. The commissioners will vote on the latest section of the American Rescue Plan money. One of the options available is for the Lancaster County Redevelopment Authority to allocate a $1 million on a homelessness services hub in the former neighborhood services building on South Prince Street. The $1 million will be added to the project's overall cost of $7.2 million. LCRA spokesman Jocelyn Naples spoke on the allocation, re saying, quote, Receiving a million dollars from the county is a crucial step towards obtaining all the funds required to finish the facility's development. It's an excellent demonstration of the county's commitment to addressing homelessness throughout the county, end, end quote. Naples stated that with an app of funds, they should have a homelessness hub ready by the end of the year. That's all we have this week for Ville News. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in next week for the latest local, state and national headlines.